President Bola Tinubu has reassured potential investors that their investments are safe in Nigeria. Speaking at the Saudi Africa Summit in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, Tinubu says Nigeria is ready for business while assuring investors of some of the world's highest returns on investment. According to a statement issued by his special advisor on media and publicity, Ajurin Gelale, the president also informed the gathering that Nigeria is in the middle of the diversification of its economy away from dependence on just oil to achieve sustainable development. Tinubu added that Nigeria is desirous of enhancing collaboration with the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia on combating terrorist organizations and violent extremist groups terrorizing the Lake Chad and Sahel regions. Well, joining me to discuss the possible benefits of this agreement is Abiodun Balogun, who is a lecturer in the Department of History and International Studies at the Lagos State University, Lasu. Thank you for joining me. Now, considering past challenges in the Nigeria-Saudi relations, how might this um, uh, agreement, conference, and the subsequent interactions impact not only economic ties, but also the diplomatic and cultural relationship between both nations. Uh, thank you so much. Good evening. Thanks for having me on the program. Uh, I think first things first, uh, it is important to have an appreciation of the context of Nigeria-Saudi relations. Uh, for a very long time, indeed, uh, Nigeria-Saudi Arabia relations are centered around religion. I mean, almost every year you have people from Nigeria and several countries in Africa and, of course, across the world travel to Saudi Arabia on Hajj. And that has been a, a critical component of Nigeria and Saudi Arabia relations. That is at the level of bilateral relations. But, of course, at the level of multilateral diplomacy or multilateral relations, I don't forget that um, Nigeria and Saudi Arabia, the two countries, are actually members of uh, organizations of the companies. And that provides a very rich platform for you know, meaningful diplomatic and economic relations um, between Nigeria and Saudi Arabia. So when you pull this together, you have an appreciation of extending the dynamics of Nigeria and Saudi Arabia relations. And coming home, uh, President Mbola Ahmed actually just visit to Saudi Arabia. What that does is that it will only strengthen Nigeria and Saudi Arabia relations you know, from the angle of culture, from the angle of religion. And of course, what Nigeria stands to gain are being a member of the organization of petroleum exporting countries, even the fact that Saudi Arabia plays a very pivotal role in, in, within, within that organization. So I feel that going forward, uh, for Nigeria, this should be, um, for Saudi Arabia as well, a win win. Nigeria stands doing a lot, really, beyond, beyond the consideration of religion, um, looking at um, the economic prospects. Because when you look at it, really, uh, this is um, a, a major oil producing country in Africa and Saudi Arabia. I mean, um, in the world, if, if you look at the oil producing countries across the world, Saudi Arabia occupies a pivotal role. So when you have this kind of relationship, what it means is that it sends a signal, I mean, for Nigeria, uh, that um, we have a whole lot to learn from Saudi Arabia. i give you an example. When you look at Saudi Aramco, for instance, and when you look at what they're turning year in, year out in terms of profit, and when you look at what the NNPC, in the case of Nigeria, does, you then come to the conclusion that indeed we have a whole lot to learn, you know, with respect to uh, uh, the management of our natural resources. All right, then, Abiyadun Balogun, thank you very much for lending your thoughts.